Ms. Sabrina Banerjee is one of the vice principal of school. She is from the Department of English, taking classes at class 2 level. She was the recipient of the Teacher of the Year Award and her project Knowledge Way, promoting general knowledge, was awarded in the category for Good Practice for instituted by the Tata Education and Excellence Program. She is also a certified career counsellor. Mr. A.L. Abraham, one of the vice principal of Kerala Samajan Model School, HOD Mathematics, has done schooling from Kerala and is a postgraduate with more than 30 years of teaching experience. He is also a qualified ISO auditor. Mr. Amrendra Kumar, HOD Computer Science, is a seasoned excellence in education accessory team with a teaching experience of 25 years in various capacity in different schools. We welcome you, judges. Judges, please note the teams will get three minutes to present their PPT, which will be followed by a question and answer round. The first team is Nether Heart. established by British Indian government on the lines 
of Royal Schools of Mines, London, and was formally inaugurated on 9 December 1926 by Lord Derby, then the Viceroy of India. As per the latest report, IIT and Bath placements in 2022 observed the highest package of 50 lakh per annum, whereas the average package stood at 17.3 per lakh per annum. The average factor was offered by Vitex students who had 26 points. Your time is up. You have exceeded 3 minutes. Thank you. It's time for the judges to ask the questions. See, uh, in your presentation, uh, there are a lot of new institutes that have come up in the country. I don't see anything in the initial stage. I don't know if that's coming or not. So you are only speaking about the old institutions. I am talking about the famous institutes. Now, question is, the government has a study destination. So if they are he can be old or he can be there. Next we have Team Palamo. Excluding Mohatava and Kunti share a boundary with 
in neighboring state. Because of the mild climate, Jharkhand has been specialized in health treatments, especially in the capital city, Ranchi. Due to uh, poverty and mal malnourishment, the diseases like tuberculosis have been spread. The gross domestic product of Jharkhand is estimated at rupees 3.8 lakh in the year 2020 and 21. Agriculture is another sector in the economy of Jharkhand which helps in the growth of the economy. Can we start? 
at the beginning of the day, if you do want to look over, where I think ratio is of Dhaka for 9.8 mils per thousand mils, which is much above the natural average of 9.8 Now let's look at the fact the state of has total 44,805 schools, including 40,343 government schools and 492 private schools. As per the survey of MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development, some figures on the educational center, level of education, primary education is 15,973, secondary education is 3,373, whereas secondary education is 12,129. Let us look, have a look on overview of Jharkhand Board. Particular details about it is Jharkhand Board is JAG, commonly known as JAG, and its full form is Jharkhand Academic Council. Its chairman is Dr. Arvind Prasad Singh, and it was established on 26 February 2000, and its headquarters is in Jharkhand. Let us have a look on the name of the university which are in Jharkhand. These are the some medical colleges in Jharkhand. And where is the engineering colleges in Jharkhand? Some law colleges. Thank you, Dr. Kool. Your time is up. Let's take to a budget tour of a jargon as a study to read them. 
the famous institutes of Jharkhand are SRI and Hadi Campus School and BIT Mishra. Argajan University, Mahatma Gandhi Medical College and Bilal Gagarin Institute of Medical Science. XLRI, an institution naturally responsible leaders. XLRI is a private business school run by the Society of Jesus in Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. It was founded in 1948 in the steel city of Jamshedpur. Talking about its rank, it is ranked as 8 among the management school in India by the National Institute of Ranking Frameworks. This is its placement. XLRI uh, recorded 100% of placement in the summer placement, the batch of 2022. 2024. The highest stipend offered is 3.5 lakh per annum and the lowest uh, or the average stipend offered is 1.54 lakh per annum. Do you know some fact about SLRI? So let me tell you. SLRI is a green campus where no weapons are allowed except a bicycle and it is the oldest MBA college in India. NIT Jamshedpur. The institute has 12 departments including engineering, science and humanities. The institute with 200 faculty, 4,000 students and 150 administrative and supporting staff in a self-contained campus. Talking about its ranking, it is ranked as 90th all over the India by the National Institute of Ranking Framework. The placement of the, the offer is the placement of the field of BTEC and the computer science is 7.20% lakh per annum and the placement chance is like 79.20%. So the latest news of a PhD seminar was held in the Anadi Jamshed School by the Mechanical Engineering Department. So the chief guest is the chief senator is invited as a chief guest. Bedna Institute of Technology Mesra. Bedna Institute of Technology Mesra, also known as BIT Mesra, is a public demand institute in Jharkhand. It was established in 1995 at Mesra, Ranchi. Talking about its ranking, it was ranked 30th among the engineering college in India by the National Institute of Ranking Framework. The highest placement offer is 51.75 lakh per annum and the average offer is 10.02 lakh per annum. The latest fact is, Department of Remote Sensing of uh, Deformation is selected by IT Mishra and uh, for return of the Chandrayaan Burn. In the second it has got a supercomputer named Param Thousand Supercomputer. Arkhajit University, we are one of the kind. So we are. Arkhajit University is a private university situated in Gamaria, Sarai Kharsawa. It was established under the Arkhajit University Act on 14 July 2017. Talking about its place, I think it has the highest package sector of INR 9 lakhs per annum. Thank you, Dean Canary. Your time is up. Judges, please proceed with the questions. Research on uh, the colleges which are quite popular and famous all over. Yes, okay. How do you take this knowledge to your school and help your help the school? Our school mainly helped us, and then we have visited two institutes: Arkhajit University, which is just near our house, and MGA Medical College. No, no. What I'm saying is, how do you you are learning? Your learning, how could you implement your learning to help students in your school? That's my question. How will you take this knowledge to your school and help the students in deciding a good college or to choose Jharkhand as a study destination? Maybe Jharkhand is having all the types of institutes, colleges in the field of medical uh, and engineering, all the things, laws, colleges. That's, we can, that it, it is mainly dependent on the student choice what in which subject is mainly interested.
Thanks, we have been the summit.
commerce graduates. Okay, fine. Thank you. Up next is Team Lavalon.
the oldest business school in India. Indian Institute of Management. Indian Institute of Management, Ranchi, is a public business school in Ranchi. The school was accorded the status of Indian Institute of National Importance by the Ministry of Human Resources and Government of India in 2017. All Medical College, All India Institute of Medical Science. All India Institute of Medical Science is a public business school in Rajasthan. Thank you, Team Lavalong. Thank you. Your time is up. Judges, please note they have exceeded by uh, 10 minutes. 10 seconds, sorry. So you all can uh, proceed with the question. See, uh, just go through your round of slides, please. Uh, this is your scene, the other one. What is supposed to come? <laughs> See, when you take a study destination, uh, I think there are something missing. You can add it that. So, what are things you understood or take away from this slides? You made this one project. You have done this project. You have done this uh, made it uh, a presentation. What are things you understood? What are things you can give to your students of your school? The message, what the message you can give to your friends in your school? You, you made this presentation. You learned a lot of things. Do you, can you give some message to your friends in your school? Is there any message you can give to them? Yeah. 
was 55.46%. Here are the graph of literacy rate. A variability of education sector. There are many education sectors in Thailand. Private schools are 44,000. Government schools are 40,043 according to 2011 census.
So more or less, it is uh, what the government schools are offering uh, and government is offering for us in this state. That is the presentation, right? Okay. Thank you. Next, we have Team Karkai.
Hello. Uh, you are studying in which class? Class 9. 9. See, usually what happens is, uh, after class is third, many students are going out of that condition. Is it? You know that? Yes, sir. So, for them, what is the method we can give? Whether we are going every day and a lot of money is spent on it, a lot of uh, problems the parents are facing. So, for them, uh, what message you can give from your presentation? You say that uh, you go out and study or you want to study the Hindi Actually, the, the, the education means the education of the Jharkhand is improving day by day in education. Like in 2015, the literacy rate for, of Jharkhand was 70% and now it is up to 82%. No, I don't ask you to do this. This is only after class 5 or those who can read and write. My question is, after plus two, those who are moving on, for them, do you have any message about this? Sir, I think uh, I am not able to hear your question, sir. From what? After class 12, what is your plan? Actually, I am, uh, means I am into, introspecting myself and soon or later I will figure out and go for that. Okay, many students are going out of junction 2 going to Pune, uh, Bangalore and for high studies. Do you have any message for them here? Sir, actually the means they are going out, out of Thakar to study in different institutions like the competitive exams of JE and NEET. But those branches are also uh, in Thakar. And I mean that if they will study in Thakar, then it doesn't depend on the means institution, it depends on their hard work. Okay, thank you. Up next, we have Team Dharma. Good afternoon to the investors presenting here today. Jharkhand, the land of forest, is a state in eastern India. It is the 15th largest state in terms of area and 14th largest state by terms of city of Ranchi acts as its capital and Dumka as its sub-capital. Hindi is its official language. It accounts for more than 40% of the mineral resources present in India. It is among the leading states in growth economy. In 2017 to 2018, the GDP growth rate of India was 10.2. But one of the major aspects of this beautiful central state that is often forgotten is that it is a site of emerging educational trend. As per, the, as per the 2011 census conducted by Government of India, the official literacy rate of the state was 67.63%. The details are as follows. The primary modes of education in Chhaka include schooling. The medium of teaching in schools is English and Hindi, along with Sanskrit, Bengali, and Odin. After 10 years of schooling, the students are presented with a choice to pursue an intermediate course of two years in science, commerce, or arts. Following that, they are presented with the choice of pursuing a graduation degree for three years or a four year degree in engineering, agriculture, or medicine. Following are the schools that are the land, the top in time. The state government of Thakran has been emphasizing on the importance of higher education during the past few years. They have been implementing new schemes and strategies for the last two years which are undoubtedly encouraging. The terms of higher education are present on the official data site showed that the enrollment rate in Thakran was 15.4% which consisted of the national growth enrollment rate of 24%. These include universities of national and international importance such as NIT Jamshedpur, IIT Dhanbad, East Deoghar, 
and etc. Since the formation of Jharkhand, the Jharkhand Education Project Council has been implementing four projects, namely DP, SSK, NTGPL, and KGP. The state has been moving towards implementing universal primary education for all, and it has already implemented 95 percent of the population of children belonging to age six to eleven. This will increase its literacy by great deal. The NEP announced in July 29-2020 includes measures like teaching in mother tongue up to class 5, allowing foreign universities to set up campus in India and formal thank you to Alma for university. Team Dharma, thank you. Your time is up. Please proceed with the question judges. Help me. Good evening. Right. Into the demos slides, just wait. Yeah. Is this working? Yes. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Just, just. Uh, can you read uh, what is there in the second paragraph? No, no. What's the name of this girl? Second paragraph. The NEP announced in July. All right, thank you. Uh, now I have some question. When we have presentation, PowerPoint presentation, any presentation, electronic presentation, a very good What are the two three points that you feel are important by designing a PowerPoint presentation? Pictures, the facts and figures, the data used. Kind of stuff, like making it attractive for the people who are in it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Not only that, when you design a presentation, so many facts you like and paragraphs. That is different, not expected. But it's short to the point. Even if I ask you in the third slide what was their content, you won't be able to say. All right? Or you can find go to. When she was reading the content from the slide, even she forgot because uh, content doesn't go like that in the presentation. On an average, it is just a suggestion. And uh, you present PowerPoint presentation, too much of the text shouldn't come on this. Okay? That's it. Thank you. The next team is Team Jankara. A very good morning to each and every person sitting here, the respective judges and my dear friends. We are here, I am Anand Jain, and I am Samar Pandey. And we are here to present our research work on Jharkhand as a study destination. <coughs> Jharkhand provides India's best technically aided schools and great research institutions and facilities available at IIT and IIT Institute, including modern society and positive environment. The government has taken very powerful information to provide more than 2,000 schools into the schools of excellence for providing quality education all around Jharkhand. Our Chief Minister, Mr. Seaman Sorry, has taken important measures for this. In recent years, the Jharkhand has seen an increment in the private school enrollment between 2018 and 2020. And the table one summarizes the enrollment data for age wise according to ACER 2020 report. The second chart describes the enrollment between 2018 to 2020. Here are the school education system of Jharkhand academics, discipline, and competition. Competition, if you are not in, there's no place for a loser in this competitive world. Next. 
Harsan is a great destination with, uh, with cities such as Ranchi, Jamshedpur and Dhanbar with the highest literacy rate in our state. And, and they provide the best technical facilities, best institutions. The most important 4,000 schools in Jharkhand affiliated to ICSC, CBSC and JANPO. More than 308 universities and colleges and 26 universities all around Jharkhand, which provide the best scholarship to all the underprivileged people. We do also have IIT, IIT ICSC is the pride of India and it is a prestigious public technical institution of India. Here is a mesmerizing destination for Jamshi and Kodiya and XLRI. XLRI, XLRI is the top most, uh, top most management college in the whole of India. They provide 100% literacy and 100% placement rates. And the highest salary noted from XLRI is 72 lakhs per annum. Thank you. We do also have IIM. I am Ranchi. I am Indian School of Management. Indian Institute of Management, Ranchi, has best uh, Indian School of Management of Ranchi is situated in Ranchi, which is the best known for management colleges among. Rims Ranchi. It is the top medical institution. Which is the Rajendra Institute of Medical Medical Slide down, slide six. Now, once again, we saw like you showed different colleges which are quite universities which are quite established and popular. Now do you believe in your school or anywhere else for that matter? Everybody is going to be able to crack these examinations and be in these institutions. So what message do you have for the students who are from a different stream or discipline? Discipline by discipline I mean to say different stream. Okay, and people who may not be able to correct it back and be in these colleges. So, for them, something should have been there in your research which we expected. Okay, so. It's very obvious that everyone cannot enroll in the best universities of India. So, the people who cannot enroll in the best universities, obviously, there's the last but not the least. There's very, there are many colleges in India who provide more and more uh, study material. So instead of being sitting and uh, just thinking that we cannot achieve that knowledge, you can work hard for the next level of education. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Judges, there was some confusion with the community of the interview, so we request you to give them another chance.
overview on Jharkhand Road, which is commonly known as JAC, and its full form is Jharkhand Academic Council. It is, its chairman is Dr. Arvind Prasad Singh, and it was established on 26 February 2003. Here are the list of universities in Jharkhand. And some medical colleges in Jharkhand, followed by engineering colleges, list of laws and management colleges, internship. Internship plays an important role. Urban Development and Housing Department, Jharkhand has decided to initiate a scheme for engagement of interns in ULPs and parcels for from April 1 and 2016. Now we come to some schemes by, uh, for providing to students in Jharkhand. First we have Maram Bhopke, Jaipal Singh Mota Overseas Scholarship Scheme, 2022. According to this, students uh, that belong to the scheduled type class, uh, they are given scholarships so they can study overseas uh, in the countries, in universities belonging to the countries of Ireland and India. Then we have the BCCA Villa and Dali Scholarship. This invites uh, students from uh, for, for belonging to the uh, scheduled class, scheduled rights and backward tasks uh, to study after 10. Ekanan Scholarship is a uh, Ekanyan is a website that uh, where the students can apply for the scholarships uh, that get listed below. Then we have the post funding scholarship for 2021 and 2022 for students uh, who want to pursue education after 10. That uh, you need to report your time is okay. Actually, in uh, your presentation, you should presentation such or that day also other parts. It should be appealing to others. So you write, you have written a lot of things here. You should have written a lot of things. Uh, we are not able to read everything what is given. So you could have some catchy uh, sentences here. Uh, sorry, uh, figures, uh, pictures. Okay. Uh, see, uh, when you are written here, one being XLRI in our city. You know how many students from Garkin are studying in XLRI? Or the person days? Sorry, not sure, it's it. it is less than 10 persons. Not even 10 persons, that's less than that. So, uh, when you said about XLRI or uh, even IAM, also same thing there. So, you should have given some more uh, institutes, new, uh, new universities have come up, or something like that. You should have given more option to. Uh, other places or things. Anyway, thank you. That was an impressive participant. I extend sincere gratitude to the honorable judges for taking out their valuable time for us. I request teacher Sudha to give us more token of appreciation from our side. Thank you, judges.